In this video, you will learn how to stake out a surface with your Icon Field solution. This is a very common use of an Icon Field rover when preparing a job site for construction, so you must become confident in doing this. We normally stake out surfaces when adjusting a terrain or when creating a road, parking lot, etc. This video is a very basic stakeout introduction where we focus on two use cases. One, go with the rover on an existing surface and get an overview of the cut and fill balance of materials. Two, stake out the deviation so the grading crew knows how much to cut or fill. Here we show you the principles using very simple example data, but the data you will encounter on job sites will most likely be more advanced. We start in the home menu of Icon Field, confirm we are in the correct project, like a road, and the job is day one. We select cut and fill. Remember to check for good coordinate quality, the correct pole height, and measure mode, which you can learn about in the video, measure points in Leica icon field. We can move the map view in pan or rotate mode. You can learn about this in the video, use the map in Leica icon field. When working with surfaces, you might find it best to rotate the map in 3D view. To engage with the surface, tap on it to select it. The selected surface will light up blue. Note that Icon Field does not display any values before we enter the surface. A warning bar informs that the current position is not within the surface. When entering the surface, Icon Field displays the cut or fill value, actual elevation at the tip of the pole, the elevation of the model, First case is to get an overview of the project's cut and fill balance. While walking with the rover across the surface to get a good coverage of the surface, we use automatic logging. Open the toolbox and select automatic logging. Turn auto logging on and change the 3D distance to 3 meters. Tap on OK. We start on one side of the road. Press start in the measure bar. Walk to the other side of the road. Go some further steps along the road and cross it again to the other side. A point is locked every three meters. In Icon Field, Three different colors are used to display the deviations. If the point is above the design file, it is displayed red and means cut. If the point is below the design file, it is displayed blue and means fill. If the point is at the same height like the design file, it is on grade and displayed green. Continue this process to create a grid over the surface, which shows the actual differences between the design file and the real surface. This is extremely powerful, especially when building on an open area with nothing else to relate to. Second case is to stake out the deviations so the grading crew knows how much to cut or fill. We distribute several stakes at convenient and relevant spots in that area. When we are at the first spot, we hammer a stake in the ground, place the stake firmly in the ground and as vertical as possible. Place the rover on the ground next to the stake. Read the cut value from the information bar and write that on the stake. We recommend measuring and logging all your staked out points. They may be important for the project quality assurance. To learn how to generate a stake out report, see the video Stake out points in Leica icon field. We go to the next spot and repeat the process. Hammer a stake in the ground, place the rover on the ground next to it, and get the fill value. Write the fill value on that stake. Measure and lock the staked out spot, and repeat this process for all the stake planned for this task. That's it. You have learned how to stake out a surface with your Icon Field solution. As a logical next step, you may want to watch a video about exporting data.